Hello everyone, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG here, and today we are going to discuss buy listing, why we do it, how to do it, and I'll share my results. All right, let's check it out. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Okay, so what we have here is the results of my uh, couple of collector's edition boxes that I opened. We're going to go through them, look at them, and um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. So I have here the two major hits. Okay, this is an etched foil, Nashi Moons, Sage's Scion, and alt art, I guess, the showcase art uh, foil of the Wandering Emperor. Very nice stuff. This is probably about like 75 bucks. This is like, I think 150, so kind of crazy. So what I do is I open boxes. I keep the hit, maybe top two hits. It depends. Out of this one, I'm keeping those two, and I think I'm going to keep these two this one because i like it and i think this maybe has room to grow it's kind of rare so these two also so let's just put those aside so now i'm also going to keep these two because they are basically the ultimate version of these legendary lands so if one of them happens to pop in a deck these are going to be the cards that become valuable so that's what I'm keeping out of my two boxes. So now let's let's take a look at what I'm getting rid of. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show these cards and if they have a buy list price, I'm gonna list it. And um, at the end, I'll show you the tally of what I am going to get. And we're gonna discuss what I'm going to do with that. Okay, Explosive Singularity Showcase. Light Paws Emperor's Voice, Mech Titan Core, Mind Link Mech. All right, so I'm just going to go through these cards. You can see them and read them, and we're going to discuss why we do this. So I'm not playing with any of these cards, right? What are they going to do? Sit around, take up space? Over time, a lot of them are going to go down because these are, you know, current cards and the more that are opened the the lower the price goes and this is what is being opened and boy is it being opened so these cards have very little speculative value i told you why i kept the other ones because i want to keep them there may be i, I doubt there's any as i look through them that i want to keep for the art there may be there may be i do like some art like that but other than that, it, it's, it just takes up space. This is a way to keep your collection kind of manageable. From time to time, go through it and do a buy list. You know, you'll end up surprised at what your cards are worth. And so the crazy uh, thing that I want to talk about is why I use Card Kingdom. I use Card Kingdom because they give you uh, credit that you can use towards sealed product, including older product. Although if you want, you can pull the good cards and then buy list everything else, throw in a little bit of cash and keep on doing that, but that's a way to grind down your money. <laughs> so let's go over how to do it. So you go to Card Kingdom. I'm going to use Card Kingdom because that's what I do. I think it's it's a good it's a good choice so go to the home page uh i'm going to show you the mobile way because that's pretty quick and easy you can go to click on the sell tab over here and then it'll take you to this page and now here is where you can do a few things i click on the advanced tab here in the top left then i choose the set that I'm going to buy list to. In this case, let's go to um, Kamigawa variants. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the commander variants because there's less and it's simple. There's no foils. That's these here. 
that's the symbol for the commander variants. This is a good one. And so organize it from high to low. And you'll see these are definitely up there, these three. And what I do there is I'll probably go down to like 25 cents, maybe even 15 cents and just throw it in. But anything less than that, it's kind of silly to throw at them. It's worth more as, I guess, a random investment than throwing it at them. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, down to like 25 cents is what I do. And then, you know, you can click to add. So let's add Kappa Cannoneer easy as that now let's go to the cart and we can take a look at that and you see it's in your cart and it shows you how much you're going to be getting now that price that you see there that you're gonna be getting that's um cash money price okay if you get credit you get 30% more so yeah it's kind of worth it to me um, I know card kingdom is a little overpriced but I see that 30% as the, you know, a little bit of give back. So that's why I do that. And then, okay, so another way to do it is to type in the top. Let's type in the Kami War. And now you look through the different types. And if you could find the foil, you click on it, you add it, because this is the foil version. I'm not looking at it right now, so I don't know. And if I, if it is there, I'm going to show it here, me clicking and adding it. So it's as simple as that. There's two different methods. You know, you could look by set. You could look by the individual card, send it in, um, package it together. Be careful. Don't damage it because they will grade it when it gets there. And if it's light play, it gets less than near mint. And so... You know, I, I put it in one of these sometimes, or I don't know, some cardboard little things that I have. Hey, anything to just protect it in a basic way. And I mean, you don't have to do what I do, but I send it in a priority flat rate box because I can track that. It has insurance, and I'm never worried about that getting lost. It, it never, never really. Maybe once in all my years has one of those gotten lost. Um, and yeah, you can track it that way. So after they get it, it should take a, I think you'll see that they received it. Oh, okay. So I'll go into my account now up here in the top and yeah, you can go to buy list, uh, orders. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not looking at it again. And yeah, you can click through there. They'll show you, it'll say received and processing all this stuff. So, you know, you know, you can kind of track. You can kind of track. I'm only going to list the cards that are a couple of dollars or more, maybe $2. But I am going to buy list everything that's $0.25 cents or more. And I will show you the total at the end. So, yeah, that's uh, the story of buy listing. And so let's discuss what I'm going to do with the money from this. I'm probably going to buy an older pack. We'll see what it is, depending on how much. But if it's above 100, probably something like an Urza's pack. You know, maybe if it's 100 and I need 20 more for a Destiny pack, I'll do that. You know, throw 20 at them. Something to that effect. We'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, if you like the content, please do remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, so on and so forth. And I will talk to all you guys soon. Please remember to like this video. This one took a lot of editing. Peace.